close and right back in the game. W what happens if we're all tied up at full time? We got extra time. Oh. And, and wouldn't you love that? Yeah. 94-94. Well, with a minute 34 to go, we've also got to remember that there's possibly three, four, or even five plays still to run on this state. Now, Murray Hill might have been right staying back in Kalgoorlie tonight. Murray, whatever you're doing... Cross everything. If you are jumping up on one leg, keep doing what you've been doing. Now, the crowd from both teams. Ty Shaw says, come on, pump it up, son. And the crowd are out of their seats on both sides. It's been played in a pretty good spirit, this game. I've got to admit, 94-94. Right side with the ball. Michael Haynes has got to be a bit careful. It's been five fouls, Michael Haynes. Not He's a powerful Take us through it, mate. Okay, here we go. Johnson's got the ball pressured by... Ryan Hume, hands up to Shaw. Watch out for the quick three here, Seamus. He's right up in his face. He's, oh, there comes the love pass. Uh -oh. Giant steal, giant steal. Valentine's got it. He rushes it up. Looks to Mark Heron on the wing. Hez is going inside. Michael Haney lays it in. Won't go. Okay, Hez, three down. Got to be giant steal. Yes. We got a call. We got a call under the basket. That's the first one all night. Go a little wrap up. And it was called by David Bull. Again, David that Ball. man that was there. Mark Herrick, very strong work by Ty Shaw. One minute, 14 left. And good, good strong work by Michael Haney. It was oh. almost like they were afraid to have a shot there. Michael Haney was willing that one to go in, but I love the way they dived on the loose ball and got possession back. One oh. 14, they're mopping the floor. Why not? There's plenty of sweat out there. You'd be sweating yourself if you were playing. Keep it up here, too. Steve was quietly. 94-94. The Giants crowd is starting to really try and rev them up. If ever they were going to win a title... We right. can't blame them tonight. They came to play. They've given them a great side. Here. Okay, here comes Hez on the baseline. Ryan Hume has got it on the wing. Short rebound. Ty Shaw rebound. Ty Shaw. Get a foul on Lakeside. Charleston Long puts Ty Shaw to the free throw Hit him in the line. head, Mark. Hit him in the head. Well, he's big enough to hit him in the head, Steve, and his arms are long enough. But that was a fabulous rebound by Ty Shaw. Now, how would you Wonderful. feel? How would you feel? You go to the basket. There's a title up for grabs. It's 94 apiece. He's got two shots. What will be going through his head? Here's a professional ball player, Steve. I'm very, very sure he's aware of what he's got to do here. All right. Here's his first shot. Let's see how he goes. Plenty of encouragement. Up goes the first one and it hits the front of the ring and doesn't look like going in. 94 94. Looked like a tight shot there. Well, oh, they're a pretty nervous shot. You can't blame the bloke either. Has another go. Here we go. Up she goes and it goes nice straight in all net. 95 94 times by one. Lakeside have the ball. This, this is, is Daniel. This is true. Sure. Aaron Shaw, I should say. Aaron Shaw has been fantastic tonight. No doubt that he's the best on the court. Across then to Chuck Long. Long goes into the keyway. Tosses one up. Doesn't go in. Heron Mark Heron with the rebound with 53 seconds left. He gets the ball across to Ryan Hume into our court. Into our side. Into our half. Across to Valentine. 45 seconds left in the game. The Giants lead by one. They have possession. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Valentine to Heron. Heron puts it up. Doesn't look like going in. Rebound. But they get the rebound again through Heron. The shot to tie Shaw. 34 clock. seconds left. The Giants lead by one. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Valentine with the ball. 94 95. The Giants lead by one. 10 seconds left. 22 seconds left on the shot clock. On the, on the time for the remainder of the game. Valentine in to Hume. They must shoot. Two seconds. Shaw goes up. It doesn't go in. But here he is. With 10 seconds left. And they throw a deliberate foul. And the Giants to go to the basket for a possible two, which would give them a what lead of three. What a fabulous play by Ty Shaw. Never had the rebound, had enough mouse to bat it back out to Mark Heron. And got it to Valentine, and Valentine just threw an easy cheap foul from Butler, I think it was. Giants lead by one. And it's nine, out, it's been called. Nine seconds left. Valentine on the line can make it three points. Timeout, Lakeside. Well, we have a look, we have a look at it. There's so much noise here. Hopefully it's coming across okay. Back to you, folks in the goal field, but we can tell you that again, Mark Heron was instrumental there. Oh, once again. Twice. Twice well, to keep the ball in. They've had the ball from about the minute mark, and there's nine seconds left in the game. They're going to go to the basket for two. Let's play it out. The Giants lead by one. Let's assume they get both. They're in three. They've got a lead of three. That means Lakeside would have to do a three-point play to stay in this basketball game. What, what I think is going to happen here, Steve, is that, and let's assume that Seamus makes both his free throws, and is certainly talented enough to be able to do that. Lakeside are going to have nine seconds to get the ball over half court and make a shot. What they don't want to do is get someone like Charleston Long jacking up a three too early. Right? 
but what they also are going to try and do, I reckon, is get to Shaw. He's going to take someone like Valentine off the dribble. Maybe go for that and try and get three but points. But if, if he misses one of them, it's only a two-point lead. It's only a two-point game. They may go for the same play. These three throws. How in important is this? Of, in the life of the Giants, these are the biggest foul shots in our 17-year history. And Seamus Valentine, he's got something to prove. He came here last year. He left with his tail between his legs. He's got the opportunity to put it to bed tonight. 95-94. The first shot goes in. Oh, 96-94. 96-94. A two-point ball game. This to make it three. Remembering there's nine, nine seconds left in the game. Up it goes. It rebounds. It comes through. It's a two-point game. Blake side with the ball. It comes through the agency of Butler. Butler has been pressing all over the place. A three-point show by Jack. And the Giants win. The Giants win. An unbelievable game. And great scenes here at Terry Lakes. And big Chuck Long. who has been sitting in from downtown. Oh, no. And the Giants have won 96 94 in one of the greatest games of sport that I've ever seen. It is absolutely unbelievable. Giants fans right around the stadium are on their feet. And so are the Lakeside supporters. They are clapping like you wouldn't believe.